We've been expecting something like this for a while, and it looks like things are starting to line up just as predicted. The recent revelation that the RTX 5090 laptop GPU is using 3GB memory modules was more than just a detail, it's a turning point. That change opened the door to a new generation of graphics cards built with non-standard memory configurations, and now it's becoming clear how NVIDIA plans to use this advantage. According to recent leaks, the upcoming RTX 5080 Super Desktop GPU will also feature these 3GB modules, pushing its memory capacity to a full 24GB. And this isn't just speculation anymore. There's mounting evidence that makes this configuration look very real. Let's break down how this works. The RTX 5090 laptop GPU uses a 256-bit memory bus and eight 3GB GDDR7 modules, which equals 24GB total. This same layout is said to be headed for the desktop lineup, specifically under the name RTX 5080 Super. While we've been hearing about the 50 series super refresh for a while now, this detail confirms that Nvidia's new memory design isn't just for laptops. It's going to define the next wave of desktop GPUs as well. But that's not all. Alongside the RTX 5080 Super, another GPU is expected to join the super refresh, the RTX 5070 Super. This one's a bit more surprising, especially when it comes to memory. According to the latest leak, the 5070 Super could feature six of these three gigabyte modules, resulting in an 18 gigabyte total capacity. That's a significant jump for a card in this segment. And if true, it would give Nvidia a strong lead when it comes to VRM in the upper mid-range market. What makes the idea of using 3GB modules so smart is how it fills the gaps in NVIDIA's product lineup. For instance, the RTX 5060 Ti has often been criticized for offering only 8GB of memory, which feels underwhelming for a GPU in 2025. If NVIDIA adopts the same approach here, replacing the current model with a 12GB version using four 3GB modules, it would bring a much-needed memory boost without having to redesign the card from scratch. The same goes for the base RTX 5060. These changes hint at a broader strategy. NVIDIA appears ready to give its super refresh lineup not just higher clocks or better power efficiency, but a meaningful upgrade in memory capacity as well. This would set the 50 series super lineup apart from its original counterparts in a much more noticeable way, especially for gamers and creators who frequently hit the limits of 8GB or 12GB cards. Now, as exciting as all of this sounds, one major question still hangs in the air. When will Nvidia officially launch the RTX 50 Super Series? So far, the company hasn't said a word about release timelines, and there's been no mention of a formal announcement date. However, if we take a look at how NVIDIA has handled similar refreshes in the past, there are some clear patterns to consider. The Super and TI variants usually arrive about a year after the initial wave of cards. That gives users some time to adopt the base models, while also creating space in the product lineup for improved versions that offer better value or higher performance. Given that the first RTX 50 series cards launched in late 2024, a logical timeframe for the super refresh would be around Q4 2025. That lines up neatly with the end of year holiday season, which is always a strategic time for big product releases. But there's another event on the horizon that could make even more sense. CES 2026. NVIDIA has a long history of using CES to reveal new hardware and a super refresh, especially one centered around new memory configurations, would be a perfect fit for that stage. It's also worth noting that the idea of the RTX 5080 having 24GB of memory isn't new. 
In fact, that was apparently the original plan for the non-super version. Several board partners accidentally confirmed this detail earlier this year, hinting that the 5080 was initially designed with a full 24GB using the new 3GB memory modules. So what changed? According to reports, NVIDIA decided to scale it back to 16GB for the final release, likely because of the high manufacturing costs and limited availability of the newer 3GB modules at the time. This decision shows just how challenging it can be to introduce non-standard memory configurations into the market, especially when global supply chains are still recovering. Zooming out a bit, this move gives NVIDIA a strategic edge. AMD, for all its performance and value in the GPU space, has mostly stuck to more traditional memory setups. Most of its consumer cards top out at 16GB, and even that's reserved for the higher-end SKUs. Intel, meanwhile, is still establishing itself and doesn't yet offer cards with memory configurations above 16GB. By using 3GB modules to build GPUs with 18GB or 24GB of VRAM, NVIDIA isn't just adding numbers, it's creating a more flexible foundation for better designs. Think thinner cards, improved airflow, and higher efficiency, all without compromising memory capacity. Then there's the RTX 5070 Super. With six 3GB modules, this card is rumoured to feature 18GB of VRAM, an unusual capacity, but one that makes sense for the kind of gamers NVIDIA is targeting. It could serve as a powerful option for those who want more headroom than the 4060 Ti style cards offer, without stepping into the high-end pricing bracket. In a world where modern games and AI tools demand more VRAM than ever, 18GB could hit the perfect balance between price and long-term usability. And that's something NVIDIA knows how to deliver. We still don't know all the details, clock speeds, power draw, exact pricing. But if this memory upgrade becomes standard across the super refresh lineup, it will mark one of the most practical and performance relevant updates we've seen in recent generations. In short, NVIDIA is potentially rethinking how it structures VRAM across the product stack, and the RTX 5080 Super is just the beginning. For now, the official line from NVIDIA is silent, but the leaks keep piling up. Whether it's from insiders on Chipel or hints from board partners, all signs point to a super refresh that's more than just a speed boost. It's a memory revolution, and if NVIDIA plays this right, it could give them the edge well into 2026. If you're planning to upgrade and need high VRAM for your workflow or gaming at ultra settings, the RTX 5080 Super might be worth the wait.